From Beijing to Berlin, from Washington to Wellington, workers, traders, investors, and consumers are wondering if a trade war is looming between China and the U.S., dragging the whole world towards darkness. I don't know, but I know it takes enemies to fight a war. Are America and China enemies now? And let us go back 40 years. In the 1970s, when China reconnected with the world, America opened its arms, providing money, technology, and talents to a fragile newcomer. By 2016, the trade surplus in favor of China has jumped from zero to 347 billion U.S. dollars. Big problem. The trade imbalance is really an issue of structure. Both America and China are flawed. In Aesop's Fables. There's the story of the blind and the limp. They forge a partnership to help one another. The limp shows the direction, and the blind does most of the walking. The U.S. is the limp, relying on cheap goods and credit from China to maintain the American way of life. And China is the blind, making products and saving money to keep its momentum of growth. The partnership worked well until it didn't. China overmade, and America overspent. They both need to adapt. Change is happening, but in different ways. The blind knows he needs to spend more and make fewer but better goods. China has been shifting to consumption and innovation-driven growth. That is why technology and talents are coming to its shores. You can argue whether some practices are helped by the government. But there is no denying technology will go with the flow to the most needed, and right now it is increasingly on the west side of the Pacific, where a behemoth supply chain, highly developed infrastructure, well-trained labor, and the biggest consumer market converge. The limp, however, has some trouble adjusting. Economically, America needs to consume less and make more. But the limp has been relying on the blind for too long. Easy credit and cheap goods are addictive. The current trade structure benefits American companies, but not American workers. This is a design invented by America, and it can only be reinvented by America. It would probably take the vision and courage of a politician like FDR to remake the American economic model. Trumping foreign competitors will not reindustrialize the U.S. It would take retraining, infrastructure investment, and re-energizing the can-do spirit of early immigrant forefathers. But that is the hard way. Trump chooses the easy one: strong arming his partners and browbeating its opponents. Trump is not trying to win the economic game; he's simply trying to win the argument. Winning the argument means winning votes. Politics trumps economics, but what goes around comes around. Economics will reign and take its revenge. When America is serious about changing its economic structure, the train imbalance will remain. The limp would be better to act immediately and do something really smart. But for now, the two flawed persons. Need to cool down and talk straight. Both are imperfect, and both are hope for nations. China is gaining strength, but needs better vision. America wishes to balance the feet, but must not lose focus. For the foreseeable future, China and the U.S. will cooperate, willingly or not. To reinvent Churchill's words, cooperation is the worst form of relationship. Except for all the others, the blind and the limp can be better, but only when they still have faith in each other. Let me end with a line written by a Chinese writer toward the end of the Great Depression: 度尽劫波，兄弟在，相逢一笑，泯恩仇。A warm hand is always better than a cold shark.